Hey guys, Will here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the battery in your iPod Nano first gen. So I got this iPod, and the battery works decently, but it's not anywhere to where I want it to be. It, it dies pretty fast. So um, first, how to open it. So if you've opened any iPod Classic, it's pretty similar. You just simply slide an iPod opening tool into the little seam between the back and front plates. And then you just want to push and basically just find all the clips. So after some suffering, um, there is a little piece of captain tape here and you just want to simply remove that and I'm going to use electrical tape because I feel like that's not going to hold the battery connectors in good. So, um, and then, well, I wanted to do this without needing a, um, a screwdriver. So I'm just going to try to pry this out slowly. All right, now I'm back. Um, I got my screwdriver set, so. You're just going to want to get, there's a Phillips screw, well it's three Phillips screws, I'm just going to use the back casing, and one over here on the corner, and then one kind of in between the headphone jack and 30-pin um, port, and this weird piece of plastic is coming up for some reason, and then Motherboard should lift out, kinda. Oh yeah, I forgot these are, I don't like these iPods. I'm, I'm gonna just spray some alcohol in here. Um, and I'm too lazy to go get the, um, my spray bottle of alcohol, so I'm just gonna put a little dab of it in here. Hopefully not too much. I just want to loosen the adhesive on this battery because I, I don't want to, I took apart one of these once and I couldn't get it back together because it's just very difficult and kind of weird. It's actually working a lot better than I thought it would. Should I kind of work that adhesive out. There we go. Okay. Don't know if that's useful. Hopefully not. Um, and then I don't have any, any tools in here. I should, should have got my microfiber cloth was in there, but I forgot. So I'll just let that alcohol evaporate on its own. Hopefully it does. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to remember this. Um, I'm just gonna write a, just, just gonna write this on the desk. Cause I can just use al alcohol and erase it. I already messed up, okay, whatever. So, hope that's good enough. Um, so I can remember this. So, white, red, I, I, put, I put blue, but black, same thing, whatever. So, um, this camera's kind of at a terrible angle. So, here we go. that wire out of the way. So at this point I brought the iPod and the soldering iron closer to me so I could see better and it's not on frame so I'll show the parts that are in frame 
and whatever's not in frame you aren't going to see basically and now we can go ahead and remove this battery just set it over there and then i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of new solder on there because i've heard that's good so Sure I can burn something and burn a little bit of the case. I think it'll be fine, whatever. And then just need to go ahead and re solder all these wires pretty much. And here I go soldering the new battery out of frame. And seems good. Maybe not accidentally touch my finger to the soldering iron. So I'm just gonna use a little piece of electrical tape to hold in or to hold these um, wires onto the motherboard um, at least until I can get it get this battery situated because these um, the um, wires are a little bit longer than the factory ones and I'm gonna have to like tuck them under the um battery I'm pretty sure there we go okay so um I'm just gonna make sure this works real quick let me just just gonna make sure it doesn't boot in a rock box and here we go I'm just gonna this this iPod's a little weird. You have to use, or you have to like wait, wait until the backlight goes off and then it'll be bright. And it's a little bit low, but it does work. So, um, I guess I'll go ahead and seal this up. So, you just want to, almost forgot about these screws. Um, you just want to go ahead and put these screws back in. I don't know where that plastic piece went. Oh, it's right there. Um, I honestly don't know what that plastic piece does. I, I guess I better install it. Just to, just to be safe. So. And then. I guess we can go ahead and seal it up. Just make sure it's not like. I don't like how this is aligned. I'm gonna like realign this a little bit. Should like loop that up and then put it like in there kinda. There we go. Okay. I don't like how that red weld is. But, or, or not weld, solder, same thing. Um, but it's good enough, so don't need that. Just go ahead and seal this up. Let me just make sure it works one last time real quick. Yep, okay. Um, need to make sure all these clips are still pushed down because th this is a common problem, again, if you're opening one of these, if you're using this as a guide, these um, these little clips on the back, um, you will notice probably most likely about half of them will be pushed up and they need to be pushed down. So you just have to simply press them back down with either your hand or tweezers or whatever you want to use. And... I think that's all of them, only two of them. That's pretty impressive. So now you just want to go ahead and seal it up. And just like that, now it's sealed up. So, 
yeah, I will clean this off after this video. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you please smash that like button. And if you are new subscribing, I will see you next time. Bye.